In this video we're going to take a look at how to create categories, the different types of categories that you might want to create, and how to further use them within the World Docs environment. Now I have added the categories column header to my file list display, and if you're not familiar with how to do this, you simply left click in this open gray area of the header bar, and select categories, and it will now be affixed to your header bar to make it apply permanently. You'll want to set the window style by clicking on this button right here, Style Save, and choose whether you would like to have that column visible for favorite files list, folders list, and possibly search results. Click on Save, and that will become a permanent part of your column header display. A category is not a profile item that you can search for. You'll notice that when I bring up my search template, we do not have category as one of the options to search in. However, what it does allow you to do is once you produce a search results list through the use of the Tags tab at the bottom of the screen, it will become an additional filter that you can apply to your list. So you'll want to think of a category as a virtual folder or another type of virtual organizing tool within the World Doc system. I'm going to right click here within one of these documents and choose Add Edit Categories. Now you'll notice that there are four tabs across the top here. The search that I've performed is taking me into a client matter folder and when I'm looking in a folder I do have the ability to create specific categories within that folder as well as my own personal categories and then because I am a World Docs manager I also have the ability to create categories that are available to everyone on the system. Those would be referred to as public categories. However, unless you are a World Docs manager you would only see all personal and folder if you have performed a search or if you have navigated to a folder within the World Doc system. A typical law firm environment will be designed such that the client and the matter are designated as physical folders on the system. So when you perform a direct access search or navigate to a specific matter folder on the system, that is when you'll have the ability to create folder categories. I'm going to create two folder categories now. First one will be approved. And you'll notice that we also have icons across the top that can be assigned to these categories. If you click on the More button, you'll notice that there are two pages of available icons that can be applied. I'll make this one a green star. And the second one will be not approved. I'm now going to switch to the Personal tab, and I'm going to create three categories. First draft second draft, and finally third draft. Now keep in mind that any personal categories that you create will only be visible on your system. It's the public categories that are available throughout the entire firm. I'm going to close this window and then show you how to quickly apply some of these categories. We'll start by applying some folder level categories. Now these categories can only be applied in the folder that I created them, in this case Robert Keeler, Client 48, Matter 10. So I'm going to right click within the Demand Promissory Note file line, choose Select Category, Folder, and I'll choose Approved for the first one, and the second one I'll choose Not Approved. Next I have three documents, and I will apply personal category, a first draft to these three documents. Finally, the final three documents, I will apply a public category of draft. Alright, now the way you would use these categories is as follows. In my example, I would have run a search. I now have my search results and go down to the Tags tab and here you see the new categories filter. So if I'd like to see my first draft documents, filters everything else out of view. Those that are approved, those that are not approved. Remember now that personal categories will only be visible and available on your system. Public categories are available to everyone within the firm and folder level categories are available for specific folders. This will conclude your introduction to creating and editing categories in WorldDocs GX3.